Hidden behind these leaves is a fruit that Italians have never seen grown in Italy. This is a coffee plant. We're hoping to harvest it at the end of March, early April, when the berries turn red. Rossellino brought these plants back from Costa Rica, a risky gamble. I spent a long time studying the plant's needs. People here said you're wasting your time, it'll never work. And yet, here are the results. In his ecological farm, with an air of the tropics, Rossellino grows 20 or so different varieties of exotic fruit, helped by the new climatic conditions that are increasingly warm. Over recent years, temperatures have increased, and so the winter is shorter than 10 years ago. Now we can produce papaya all through the year, whereas before we had to stop production in the winter. Last year, Rossellino produced 35,000 kilos of exotic fruit, and he's not the only one. There are currently about 20 other farmers to have started in this new business in Sicily. Andrea decided to reinvent his family's farm on the slopes of the volcano Mount Etna by planting avocados and mangoes. These plants are strong and laden with fruit. Look at all the fruit. It looks like we'll have a very good harvest this year. In the area around Mount Etna, about 100 hectares are given over to exotic fruit. Each year, the harvests have to be adapted to the changing rhythm of the seasons. Now in December, it's still mild. Winter has been pushed back. Now the cold comes later, no longer in December, but in February, and it only lasts a couple of weeks. In the last three years, the production of exotic fruit has tripled in Italy, and next year could see the production rise to 900,000 kilos like mangoes, bananas or passion fruit, and a substantial part of this production will be for export.